Hey guys, welcome back to Noise Test RC. Got uh, some upgrades for my truck. Like I mentioned to you before, I uh, had ordered some parts and uh, most of them came in already. So, I just want to share with you what I have. I'll probably install them today so I can get. Uh, so I can show you what parts I actually got. Pretty excited for the upgrades. I know what I do. So I'm gonna start with a small package first. Most of the parts are from GPM. This is a uh, the servo horn and adjustable rod spacer. I bought most of the parts, well I guess pretty much all the parts I bought are silver in color. So the part number is right there if you need it. So I got that. And I bought these just for for fun. They're actually lights, the big lights. And that's gonna do something with them on the truck. But we'll see how it works out. But they're, they're massive, they're pretty big. I got the aluminum uh, disc. I don't have the calipers yet, but I'm going to get those uh, later on. These are all aluminum. Another one, another GPM. This is going to be the stainless steel front turnbuckle for the steering. Okay. Also aluminum. So it's going to add weight to the truck, obviously, right? That's okay. I have enough power anyway to run anything. This is the other part from GPM and this is going to be the stainless steel adjustable rear upper chassis link. Wow, these are thick. Cool. These are the uh, suspension travel limit straps from uh, Hot Racing. Man, they look kind of small. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. And we've got a box as well. Pretty excited for these upgrades for the UDR. Oh, 
Okay. These are the trading arms, guys. On aluminum. Oh, they look nice. Really nice. So anyhow guys, that's what I have for upgrades for the UDR. Um, I'm gonna take the body off and uh, start working on these upgrades. So stand by. Alright guys, I want you to just see the, the chassis without the, the body. I went and took the body off. It's not really that complicated. Uh, just a, quite a bit of screws to take off. But nothing major. There's the ESC. Excuse me, the receiver. It's right there. The ESC is going to be in the back. I'm going to replace these. I'm not sure what I'm going to. I wanted to put uh, probably aluminum. But I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. There's the ESC in the back. So I started working on putting the parts on. So stand by, guys. All right, guys. Took the wheel off. I'm gonna take the uh, trailing arms first. I'll take these off and take the disc off and put the aluminum ones on. But we'll be getting the calipers here shortly. But we'll put the uh, uh, trailing arms first, the aluminum. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So let me put that on and stay by. All right, guys. So here we go. This is the aluminum trailing trailing arm. The uh, both shocks. They're gonna sit in these two, uh, the inner holes. Which is pretty much just matches the original position of the original trailing arms. So I'm going to put the shock, the front shock here, and the rear shock in back, right behind it. So that should take care of it. It's got real nice bushing, uh, rubber bushings in in the ends. Really nice. It even comes with extra in case they wear out. Okay, so I'm going to get this on, you know. And I'll show you how it looks. Stand by. Alright guys, here's the aluminum trailing arms. Trailing arm. Bolted down. The caliper, disc caliper, excuse me, the disc. Caliper, like I said, I'll get it later. And then we got the uh, limited straps from Hot Racing. So I went ahead and put those on so I don't have to take anything that was off. So I got all this done already. So looks good. Looks real good actually. I just want to let you know these do these are directional. Um, if you notice it has an R for the right side. So this one has the L for the left side. So I just to let you know they do they are directional, so you have to put them in the correct spot so it'll look appropriate. Otherwise you'll be facing the wrong way. So let me get the other side done. I'll come back. Stand by. Alright guys, here's the other side, which is the right side. Got the trading arm installed, the discs, and the hot racing limited straps. I don't know if you can see that, but... There. It's kind of hard to see, but... They fit perfect. Everything just fit perfect. So I'm gonna put the wheels back on. And I'll put the upper rear links installed as well. Stand by. All right, guys. I want to show you the difference in the, in the uh, upper link, rear upper links. Look at the thickness. The difference in the thickness of these two. It's a big difference. Much much thicker. So. That's why I went ahead and bought these because I want these are going to be pretty hard to to bend 
Everything is beefy about it. Amazing. Let me get this on and I'll talk to you in, in a few. Stand by. Alright guys, just want to show you the, the difference. I went ahead and installed the right side. Look at the left side. Big difference, right? Big difference. Incredible. Stand by. Alright guys, I got the back installed. Um, now I want to do the front, uh, the toe links, turnbuckles, excuse me, for the front. Make sure these right here, which are all plastic. I'm going to replace those. And you know, I forgot to mention to you guys, I also have the uh, GPM uh, anti sway bar from GPM. It's the front and rear. So yeah, it's going to be quite a bit of stuff. So anyhow, let me get this uh, turnbuckles on and I'll uh, walk back. Stand by. All right, guys. There's the discs. I'll be getting calipers soon, and uh, there's your toe link. Just want to show you that before we put the wheels on. Stand by. Alright guys, here's the front uh, anti sway bar. And the links, they're all pla everything's plastic works with the exception of the bar. It's obviously it'll be metal. And if you can see it right there. Way in there. You can barely see it. It's very thin. But anyhow. I'm going to try to put the uh, GPM front sway bar on first. So uh, stand by. Alright, guys, before I install the sway bar, I just want to show you something. To give you a handheld uh, drill bit, and that's because the sway bar is thick, a lot thicker than the original one. I'll show you the difference. See that? is super thin so this is a lot bigger a lot thicker so you have to drill hand drill the hole right there with the with this hand drill bit so that way the sway bar right in there and I'll show you see so I need to do the other end because if you notice it's really closed in you really can't put the sway bar in there but unless you make the hole so just wanted to know if you buy the complete kit with the sway bar not just the links um, like these here. If you just buy these, you don't have to remove the uh, the original sway bar if you use it. But if you use the new one that comes with it, then yeah, you need to drill a hole a little bigger just to fit it in there. Okay. So I'll go ahead and I'll do the rest, the other side, and I'll stand by and I'll come back. Alright, guys. Good. Right across the there is a situation with the uh, sway bar. I just want to show you something. Now, you see how this is, how it, how it, look, how it uh, is formed? Okay, the screw is going to go through this, through the top. Put the camera down. It's going to go through the top, just like that. But the uh, Sway bar has a little groove. I don't know if you can see it. Right there. Like a little indention. Well, that's supposed to face outward so it'll hold with the screw. Ok. 
because the screw is barely going to touch the, uh, the bar so it'll flush, it'll go through there and it'll, it'll just slide through but it'll also put pressure on it at the same time I did it on this side already and uh, it's really tight, it ain't going nowhere just want to let you know because it had me thinking there for a while it doesn't have no instructions so I have to figure it out because if you face it up this that bar does not fall right in the middle of the screw it just barely on one it's to, it's to one side so if you notice how the the hole and the screw do not align they're not the hole's not the screw is not on top of the hole where the bar falls in into so that's why I have to face it outward the groove put the screw where it'll just slide through there and it'll cause pressure against the bar anyhow guys just want you to know and uh, you put this together and I'll come back stand by all right guys there it is it's completely installed Nice. Nice and tight. Everything moves freely. And they all also come with hardware, all the aluminum screws. All these links I put on there, they all come with aluminum screws. Just don't over tighten when you put it in plastic. Alright guys, stand by. Alright guys, I'm gonna do the left, uh, the rear, excuse me, inside strip bar kit. So this is the, re the rear. Take these links off, take this bar off. This is the actual bar from GPM. Look at the difference. Big difference. So let me get that on undone and uh, I'll put the new one on. Stand by. Alright guys, there's the uh, rear stray bar. Works great. That bar is super thick compared to the original one that's really nice came out real good and it's not hard again you have to use the uh, the uh, hand drill bit to make the hole onto this plastic deal where the bar comes through but uh, yeah, GPM gives you everything to work with. But anyhow, there's the, there's the, finish, the finished in the sway bar, anti-sway bar from the rear, for the rear. I'll be getting these as well, as well, sorry, from uh, GPM. So, they should be coming in soon. But yeah, I really like the way it looks. Thanks guys, talk to you later. Cut my uh, UDR bench and um, I want to install the the aluminum servo horn with the adjustable uh, rod and it pretty much is these two pieces 25 tooth servo horn from uh, GPM so here's the stock right there so I'm gonna try to put the aluminum one on and I'll come back to you stand by alright guys there it is alright guys there it is there's the aluminum link oh shoulder horn excuse me or the uh, aluminum shoulder horn with the tie rod so everything is nice and uh, I use some uh, some blue loctite since it's metal with metal or aluminum with aluminum but other than that, 
pretty straightforward no big deal all right guys talk to you later thanks for watching